Are you feeling bad yet? Are you feeling guilty? Come on, guys. You must be feeling guilty right now. Right? You're not? Are you sure? Are you sure you don't have anything to feel guilty about? Okay. Now, once you finish this video, you will immediately feel bad. I'm going to ruin your day. You're going to have to run to confession to confess your brutal sins because it is all your fault. It's your fault that women's college basketball doesn't succeed. Yes, you nasty, nasty men sitting there in all your toxic masculinity. It is your fault that women's sports don't draw the same audience as the men. Now, never mind the fact that these social justice warriors want men competing in women's sports. No! I want you to ignore that little fact. KC, don't bring that up. It is a distraction from the real issue here. We're talking about toxic masculinity, not Leah Thomas wishing she was born with an extra hole. Every month, I probably spend around $100 on various subscriptions to media sites. Outkick, VIP, The Athletic, ESPN+, Plus, The New York Times. Even though I don't like supporting most of these sites financially, because of what we do here on the channel, I need access to their propaganda. One of the subscriptions that I pay for is USA Today, one of the many state-run media outlets that we have. USA Today is complete garbage. It is nothing but Star Trek nerds and women who have been denied attention from men throughout their life. So they're very bitter, very, very bitter. Women like Nancy Armour. Ever heard of Nancy Armour before? Thankfully, she has no affiliation with Under Armour. Otherwise, I would have to burn half the clothes in my closet. Sweet little Nancy. She has finally cracked the code. She has finally figured out the real reason that women's basketball is not popular in this country. It's not what she calls silly stereotypes. It's not the financial disparity between the NCAA's investment in the men and women's tournament. Social justice warriors, they can't blame that anymore. The NCAA, they folded to their pressure, bent over, and allowed feminists to hop off their brooms and stick it straight up the NCAA's bum. Nancy Armour, she doesn't blame the quality of play or lack thereof. She doesn't blame promotion. She doesn't blame television networks. She doesn't blame God. According to Nancy Armour, who besides writing a column for USA Today that no one besides myself reads, she's also an adjunct professor at Woke U. She teaches a course to young women on how to carry yourself if you never want a relationship with a man. Anyway, according to Nancy Armour, women's basketball isn't popular in America because of you, the toxic man. Headline of her propaganda piece at USA Today. Are you not entertained? If not, the problem isn't women's basketball, it's you. No, Nancy, I'm not entertained. How in the hell could I be entertained? Do you find this entertaining? just so, so entertaining. I just love listening to two women preach to me about the importance of teaching young children how to be a gender-neutral, non-binary giraffe. The woman bloviating that bullshit on the left side of your screen was Stephanie White. She is a former WNBA player and coach, and like most men in my audience, Stephanie White likes women too, which is fine. 
I understand the lesbians. I don't understand dudes liking dudes, but I can understand why women would want to sleep with each other. What I don't understand is why Stephanie White wants public schools teaching her children about sexuality. Public schools across the country, they can't fucking teach math and science. They struggle teaching kids how to fucking read. Hell, most of the teachers, they probably have a hard time reading themselves. And you want to entrust these people with teaching your kids about the fake 53 genders that social justice warriors have created? Stephanie White, if you want to teach your own children that shit in the privacy of your own home, go for it. If you want to raise confused kids, if you want to raise a kid that one day comes home and says, Mommy, today I want to identify as a rhinoceros. Go for it, but leave the parents trying to raise normal kids out of it. Nancy Armour claims that with rising ratings in women's college basketball, our fragile male egos can't handle it. These toxic men, they cannot handle women's basketball becoming mainstream. They must find new excuses for the reason that they don't watch. Did I miss something? I spend hours every day, seven days a week, immersed in the filth of the mainstream media. I take two, sometimes three showers every day just to clean the media stain off of me. But I must have missed something here. When did women's basketball become mainstream? Can you name a woman's college basketball player? I can name one, Sedona Prince. Her name recognition, though, has nothing to do with basketball. The only reason I know about Sedona Prince is because she joined Club Dumbass. She was accepted into Woke U last year. Now, can you name a coach in women's college basketball? Do you ever hear anything about women's basketball? Hell, it's like the WNBA. The only time anyone talks about either one is when the woke are complaining about disparities. Unequal pay, unequal treatment. We must be treated the same as men, even though we consistently lose money. The woke media, they like to talk about the growth of women's basketball. Ratings are up. Attendance is up. It's another example of the media using partial truths to fit their narrative. I went back to the 2019-20 season. I couldn't find the official attendance numbers for this season. Maybe they haven't been released yet. Now, of course, last year, they wouldn't allow people to attend games. I think there was a bad flu or something going around. Or Anthony Fauci was released from his basements and allowed to freely run the streets, so people were hiding from him in their homes. Now, I pulled this information directly from the NCAA's website. From 2010 to 2019-2020, attendance and women's basketball declined 7 out of 10 years. And yes, it was down in 2019 too. They averaged around 1,600 a game. Now let's talk about ratings. The most watched women's college basketball game this season, South Carolina, Tennessee. It was broadcast on ABC Network Television. 876,000 viewers. That's the most watched game of the year. Now, I know Bamani Jones would love that number, but drawing 876000 on free TV isn't something to be bragging about. It was the most watched game since 2017. So let me ask you something. You know, since according to Nancy Armour, us toxic men are to blame for women's sports not being popular, let me ask you something. Where the fuck are all the women? According to the most recent census data, over 166 million women live in America. That number doesn't include fake women like Leah Thomas. If we include men who want to be women, that number rises to 166.1. If you viewed what's popular in America from woke Twitter and saw all these feminists talking about their support of women's sports, you would think these numbers would be higher. But you mean to tell me you can't convince even 1% of the female population to support women's sports? Men support men's sports. How come women aren't supporting women's sports? The answer is simple. 
It's fucking boring. Not only is it boring, if you found yourself willing to give women's basketball a chance and you turned on ESPN, you are treated with awkward moments of silence. We are taking a moment of silence to support the rights of teachers to teach your children to be non-binary. If you watch the WNBA, you see players kneeling during the national anthem. But KC, players were doing that in the NFL and NBA too. Yeah, yeah, they were. Look at what happened. The NFL lost 20% of its audience. The NBA set record low ratings. The WNBA, they don't have enough of an audience to lose. When you're drawing 300000 per game, you can't afford to piss them off. Nancy Armour claims men take it personally that women's basketball is growing and we knock the game because we're insecure. I have been called many, many things in my life. Insecure is not one of them. I don't care if women's basketball or the WNBA become popular. If you like to watch, great. I find it to be boring, but my preferences may be different than yours. That's okay. But I take issue when the woke media makes the baseless claim that women's basketball is mainstream when it's not. Just because you tell me it's mainstream doesn't make it mainstream. It makes you a fucking liar. I also have a problem when you blame me for your own failures. It's not men's fault that people don't watch women's basketball like they do the men. Like I said, there are 166 million females in this country. They ain't watching either. How come you're not blaming them? I'll tell you why. People like Nancy Armour, everything is always a man's fault. She goes after Darren Ravel for having the audacity to say women's basketball is less superior to the men. Buick ran a commercial during the women's tournament this weekend that, of course, no one saw. But in the commercial, they talk about some unknown women's basketball player making the greatest buzzer beater of all time. Buick says, but no one saw it. They claim the reason no one saw it is because women's basketball only receives 10% of the media coverage when compared to men. Huh. So, how is that men's fault? How is that men's fault? Nancy Armour, you're in the fucking media. How is it our fault that your own publication doesn't cover women's basketball? She blasts Darren Rovell again for his claim that women's soccer is not marketable. Go ask Megan Rapinoe if she's not marketable. Ha! I got you, you toxic bastard! <laughs> hey, Nancy Armour, why don't you go ask Subway if Megan Rapinoe is marketable? But anyway, let me know what you guys think. It's your fault. It's your fault. Women's basketball is not popular. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.